is being made to clean up Highway 1 in Big Sur, but it is still slow going. That road is closed to the public at Palo Colorado Road all the way down to Ragged Point. Caltrans is working on two big problem spots. The first is a slide south of Hurricane Point. The second is near Point Sur, where a busted culvert has undermined the roadbed. Crews hope to get the highway open to Pfeiffer Canyon Bridge anyway sometime this spring. Progress is also being made on getting a foot trail for residents to get in and around that failed Pfeiffer Canyon Bridge. Action News reporter Caitlin Conrad is live in Monterey tonight with more on that story. Aaron, it's looking like they're going to be able to get to work on this trail starting on Thursday. They've run into a lot of red tape, but it looks like things are finally moving forward. The idea is to build a trail through Pfeiffer Big Sur State Park on the east side of Highway 1, giving people a way out of Big Sur and it wouldn't take long. Depending on your fitness, 20 to 30 minutes maybe, I'm guessing. There are an estimated 450 people stuck in Big Sur between the bridge closure to their north and landslides to their south. Extremely dire. Families are torn apart. We have people living on the other side with the school kids, just going back and forth to work even though the resorts are closed. They're still doing projects. I can't get my firefighters over here. We're doing a class and that's, I don't know whether I'm gonna continue. Extremely dire. The fire chief says currently trespassing is rampant with people walking around the bridge on the west side and even braving it. Time is absolutely of the essence. Um, there is massive trespassing occurring out of just sheer frustration right now. Plans for the trail are outlined already. For those walking in from the north, the trail will go from Big Sur Station, specifically the entrance to Pine Ridge Trail, and run parallel to Highway 1 before cutting up the hill and ending at a pullout just south of Pfeiffer Canyon Bridge. About 100 people trapped on the south side have already volunteered to get it done. They've just been, I think, a little bit uh, hampered by some restrictions in their procedural stuff. So we've been getting really antsy about it and the community just worked together and we've created a unified command now so we all talk a little more directly about getting that, that kind of thing done. The plan was to get started today. Volunteers showed up to get the work done, but Fish and Game had uh, something else that they needed to check on, so they put a hold on it. Hopefully they will be able to get to work on Thursday. If that happens, the trail could be completed as soon as mid-April. Erin. All right, thank you, Caitlin. California conservation crews, meantime, are expected to be out Thursday working with volunteers.